We're going to be cooking wild pork butt today. This pork butt came off a 260 pound sow. And as you see here, we're firing up the pit. We're trying to get it about 300 degrees. Now while the pit's firing up, we're gonna go ahead and start scoring a lot of this fat off of there. Clumpy fat, especially on wild pigs, isn't good. It's gonna be bitter, bad to taste. You don't really have to remove much silver skin as it will uh, melt or fall off while it cooks. But once we do that, we're gonna start scoring the pork butt. This is optional. I like it because it helps penetrate the seasoning a little bit more in there. We're gonna be using some salt, pepper, and garlic to season it. I'm using Suckle Buster seasoning. You can use whichever salt, pepper, garlic you want. And I try to get that seasoning as best as possible inside those cracks. Now we're gonna go ahead and try this new rub called Smoke Mafia. Now this rub, after I tried it, it tastes really good out of the bottle, but it was just a little bit too much on the sweet side for me. I would definitely just stick to salt and pepper for the next one. But once we have both sides fully coated, we're gonna let that sit for a bit. Now you see the pit is between 250 to 300 degrees. This is about three hours after it's been in the smoker. It's starting to get a nice color, a nice bark on there. And then we're gonna start spritzing with apple juice on there just to give it a little bit of a sweet side and kind of get a little bit tacky once the pork butt reaches an internal temp of 165 internally i added apple juice wrapped it up in foil added some brown sugar on top and as you see once it reached 202 internally we're going to remove it and let it rest minimum two hours at best three to four hours so this is after a three hour rest it's still very hot I just put it inside a cooler. I didn't use anything fancy. Burped the cooler about every 30 minutes. As you see, the bone pulled out very nice. Now, hence, this is wild hog. There isn't a lot of intermuscular fat in there, so your pork butt isn't going to have a lot of fat. But as you see, it's very tender, very soft. The only thing that I would do different is maybe put it at 190, being that it's a wild hog, because it was a little bit dry. But as you see, I mean, it's basically almost fall apart. Very soft. Since it was very hot, I started using forks to go ahead and shred it. Now, once you fully, fully shred it, you can pour any barbecue sauce you want on top. But that's it. This is how you do pulled pork on a wild hog.